This is Tracy McCauley from Lighting the Way and I'd like to offer you a lovely meditation to help balance your chakras and allow you to anchor and feel your strength and your power once more. At the moment we're really trying to navigate the energies and there's quite a phenomenal energy of fear sweeping through our planet at the moment with the coronavirus outbreak and it's almost I suppose overwhelming for some people so I am in a position to help you now to anchor your energy and to feel stable and safe and secure and that's really one of the things that's really important for us to do during this time of great change and there are a lot of people with heartache all over the world at the moment having lost loved ones and having loved ones that are after contracting this virus. So it's really for me to be here and offer my services in the best way I possibly can. So I want to connect with the higher vibrations of energy and bring them through me and send them from my heart to yours as you work with me in rebalancing your energy centers in your body. And we will pay particular attention to any imbalances that we may have right now running through us. I went to um, a remote beach today for a walk to energize and ground and rebalance myself and become aware of my own body, my own emotions and my own energy and to make sure that I was cleansing my spiritual energy, my light body and I was connecting and asking as I was walking along how could I best serve and I was told, I was actually told before I went to the beach that I needed to do a video tonight and that I needed to put it up into YouTube for everybody to see and this is actually my third attempt my camera uh, well my camera didn't break down but my microphone broke down uh, during the first one and I put it on for the second video and when I went to replay it I had pictures of no sound so I'm using a different microphone because I am aware that there is quite a negative force of energy surrounding us and as light workers, we have a responsibility to keep connecting with the light to dispel that darker, higher vibration of energy. So here I am, and I just want to show you what I brought from the beach with me. As I was walking the beach, this is what I saw. And to me, it's a heart, and I haven't touched it. And you can see there's like a cut like a bleeding in the heart it's a stone and then when I picked it up and turned it over I could see this it's like a whole lot of steps I could see them and uh, you know metaphorically to me this was like all different people or maybe even all different nations coming together and we really need to jump up and become one whole heart but they're the steps we have to take so we are in a time of great change but we are in a time where we are going to heal the wounds of the heart and the heart of the planet as well you know and become more aware more conscious more loving more compassionate uh, towards ourselves and towards everybody and also towards our beautiful planet. I believe the planet has just been saturated and cannot take any more. You know it's 2020 and for about three years people that know me would have heard me say there's going to be a massive shift in 2020 and I became more specific and said that in Ireland in March of 2020 that all light workers would really need to join together because there would be something happening I wasn't sure of the specifics, but I just understood that we were going to need to anchor our light and to help you all to anchor your light and to rebalance so that you can utilize your power and utilize the strength that's within you. 
And today I've been asked to do a chakra rebalancing because there was a time when our chakras were fully balanced. So, you know, life and circumstances and the energy of fear that's rampant right now would certainly take our chakras out of balance. So I'd like you to work with me now and we will rebalance our own chakras and anchor our energy into the beautiful planet Earth and utilize our power, connect with our peace, connect with our light within and just become aware, aware of everything that's going on within us right now because everything is really coming up to be healed and we can heal it and even for me to be able to connect with you and as Angel Ariel says, heal the world one heart at a time, you know, and to start with our own hearts and if we can heal our hearts, we're in a position to energetically vibrate in a much higher frequency and to help everybody that we connect with to connect with their hearts and connect with the beautiful love of the universe and to think differently, do things differently and enjoy, just really enjoy. So if you are doing anything that would be dangerous for you to close your eyes and relax and go into a meditative state, it's time to stop now and find yourself a place to be, a place to eat or sit where you can really relax and allow your spine to be straight but relaxed. See if you need to lie down or find a seat to sit down and allow yourself to be without distractions and we'll work together. So we'll work with the breath. And we allow the sound of my voice and your awareness of your breath to help you to rebalance all of your energy centers here this evening. So we're just going to allow ourselves now for a moment to feel our body relaxing down, down, down into a state of soft relaxation. Keeping your spine tall. And imagine that there's a sky hook pulling your head right up, and yet your shoulders are really relaxed. That's allowing you now to connect with your body. We're going to work and use the breath. Firstly, to breathe in and connect with our lungs. And then we're going to use the breath to breathe into every energy center, well, the seven main energy centers within our body, the seven main chakras. But first, I'd like you to imagine or know or sense a white light all around your body, like a cook around your body. So you see that white light now all around you. A fluorescent, illuminous white light. A pure crystal white light. And as you breathe in through your nose, you breathe in that white light. And you allow it to move down the back of your throat down into your lungs and you just feel it in your lungs for a moment and then allow yourself to expel that out through the nose releasing and letting go as you breathe out now we're going to direct that white light with the in breath each chakra on the main chakra system, one chakra at a time. So at the moment, there's quite a lot of fear, rampant, globally. And fear really unsettles and unbalances our base chakra. We feel unstable, insecure, not safe. There's so much change. We feel overwhelmed. 
But tonight we're going to bring the energy of the white light right down into that center. So we take a nice deep breath in through the nose and shine that white light down into the coccyx area, the very, very base of your spine, that little bone that curls under. That's the coccyx. And shine the white light in and see the red wheel of energy now spinning in a clockwise direction. And as the white light meets this chakra, it begins to rebalance it. You start to notice any darkness, any stagnation moving out, and the chakra expanding and glowing beautifully, bright red, a fiery red energy now at the very base of your spine. And you notice that wheel spinning rhythmically totally balanced, a beautiful red fiery wheel of light energy. And then as you breathe in that white light through your nose, you'll direct it just above that chakra, three finger width below your navel, into the sacral or sacral chakra. And you notice that orange wheel of light now, beginning to spin in the clockwise direction with the fiery red energy of the base chakra shining into the orange and the orange now spinning really, really beautifully. All the darker pieces moving out now and this chakra is starting to rebalance, recalibration occurring now and this spinning beautifully, slightly faster than the base chakra. All of your creativity now coming back into play all of your sexuality feeling balanced and secure and strong once more. And then just above this wheel of light, we have another one called the solar plexus. And the color of that is the gold and yellow of the sun. Just above the navel now, we direct the white light as we breathe in. And we send it into the solar plexus chakra the seat of all our emotions and all our power. And we just notice this chakra now spinning in a clockwise direction, getting brighter and brighter. All the dark pieces now in this chakra dissipating as the light shines and penetrates right into the solar plexus. We're beginning to feel more grounded and stable and balanced and strong now. We see the fiery light of the base chakra moving up into the beautiful orange glow and that moving up further still into the bright yellow golden sun color of the solar plexus. And we're still breathing softly through our nose, bringing in this white light and directing it now into the heart center, right in the center of the chest. We see this beautiful wheel of green light the green of the forest now, moving in a clockwise direction. And in our hearts we notice any darkness, any, any wounds, anything that's not in perfect harmony. And we allow the light to enter and to penetrate through every partial of our heart center, every particle now starting to brighten up. And we notice the wheel starting to spin in a more rhythmic motion. We see it now coming back into balance. We see the harmony being restored now between the solar plexus and the heart. We notice the red fiery energy of the base becoming very stable and strong now. As it makes its way up into the sacral and then we see the light shining into the solar plexus and up into the heart. We see all of these chakras working now beautifully in harmony. Each chakra spinning that little bit faster than the one before it, but not out of balance. And next, we concentrate on the throat. And as we breathe in the white light, we send it into the throat center. And as it touches the center of the throat, we see that beautiful cobalt blue wheel of light spinning beautifully now. Just see it now being 
pulls back into balance as you allow it to be restored to perfect harmony. It's expanding now, it has been very contracted, afraid of speaking up and speaking the truth. Allow yourself now to notice how the balance has been restored in the truth center. Perfect harmony now. We feel that all our chakras are spinning in unison and right up into the third eye, that area now above your eyebrows and the center of your forehead. You see this beautiful indigo light spinning beautifully, your inner knowing. You feel your trust now coming back as you see this wheel of light beginning to spin brightly as it expands. You see the white light dissipating all the dark shadows within the third eye center. You look all the way down to the base and you see the strong energy of the fiery red base up into the sacral, into the solar plexus, the heart, the throat. And now the third eye, all spinning now in beautiful balance and harmony. And above the top of your head, this is where your crown chakra resides. And you sin the white light now as you breathe in to the crown center. And you notice the violet light now. You notice yourself becoming saturated with the violet light as it spins beautifully now over the top of your head. And as you look up, you notice this violet light becoming paler and paler until you see it as a beautiful, luminous white light pouring down into the top of your head now, all the way down to your crown center, to your third eye, to your throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral and base chakra. You feel yourself now becoming saturated with all of these beautiful colors. You realize that the white light is the light of your spirit, shining through all of your energy centers, shining down through your legs now, through your feet, and all the way into the earth below you, feeling stable, strong, Pure. feeling every cell of your body now being bathed by all of these colors, by the energy from all of your centers. You notice them all working in harmony for you now, restoring complete equilibrium. You feel anchored in your body, safe, secure. You feel loved, you feel cared for, you feel very strong and wise and you know that you have health in your body, you know that you have balance, you know that you have the power to restore balance anytime you feel yourself being pulled out of balance by outside forces. You understand that you need to go back and connect with the truth within you, with your power, with your love, with your spirit. And as you allow your spirit to prevail, you now feel whole, healthy and happy. You understand that for a period of time that you need to follow a little bit of protocol, hand washing, personal hygiene, hygiene in the home, safe distancing from others, 
And as you distance yourself, you are going to allow yourself to turn inward, tap into your strength and your power, the highest particles of you, connecting with your highest self and all of the higher vibrational energy that is available to you. So whether you call it universal energy, chi, prana, or through your guides, or angels, or loved ones who stand before you, doesn't really matter. Whatever feels right for you, you have that inner knowing. And once you allow yourself to follow that intuitive pull and keep yourself anchored and in your body, aware of what's going on within you. And then allow yourself to stay balanced, anchored and safe. And you may check in with this video as often as you wish and just work with it and allow yourself to be balanced during this time of great change and great challenge. Connecting back with your breath now, your breath into your nose, seeing that breath softening. Moving down into your lungs. And as you release the breath, you release any particles of stress, any lower vibration, off to be transmuted. Keeping yourself in a high vibration now. Being that bright cocoon of light expanding around you. This is your aura field. The light of your spirit shining into it, allowing you to feel protected and safe and secure. Breath now into the lungs and release. Becoming aware now of your physical body, your feet on the ground, and wiggling your toes and then your feet. And then your fingers and your hands and opening your eyes and allowing yourself now to feel grounded, safe and secure. Thank you. God bless you. Have a beautiful week. And if you'd like to subscribe for any updates, please do. And feel free to share this video.